uh, and that will remain in effect. <coughs> and, uh, that's basically it in a nutshell. Questions for Butters? Correct? Well, obviously, Chris knows that I'm against this. And your name is Steve? Uh, Donnie Romano. I live at 90 Salem Street. Okay. Um, I'm just against second floor restaurants. I don't think that we should change it. I think we have enough in the North End. Um, what I'm going to say is, you know, the community came together as residents, and we fought the students and the noise, and we, we're starting to overcome that. And we're starting to overcome the trash problems, and we're still on our way there. But as far as the restaurants, we still let them control us. And I think it's time that we put our foot down and stop doing that. It's forbidden to do second floors for a reason. Um, there are some second floors. They've already been there before this forbidding came in. Um, the restaurant, the residents have asked not to have it before, and they're asking. Um, I gave Dave um, a list. I had a, a, of people that are not in support of this. There's almost 75 people on that list that are not in support of second floor restaurants anymore. Have we all not been residents? Uh, yes, they are. Yes. But this, this at one point in time was in fact a second floor restaurant back when it, when it, had, when it was the fish house. Yes, but that was a long time ago, well, sure. but since then they, they, they put an end to second floor restaurants. Not saying that what the intention of that was. I didn't write it, so I'm not saying anything because we got some intention of second floor restaurants. residential units and maybe you can collaborate on the and replace them with second floor commercial. This is a unique situation because it's a single story building. It has nobody above it. The four butters around it have no objection to it. And I know from the last meeting there's a lot of concern because Marco is very noisy and Fiori's I think was also mentioned. In the case of Fiori's, I've never heard a complaint about his second story dining. He has a deck. And that's like, from what I understand, that's where a lot of the noise comes from. As far as Baco, that's a full liquor license bar that the whole first floor is very few tables. It's almost completely a bar downstairs. And I walk past that myself. I walk off of First Street, and it is noisy. And I'm not throwing them under the bus. All I'm asking is that when you look at this and you vote, you look at the integrity of the project, look at the landlord, and look at the restaurant market. Uh, some of you people know me here. I'm a good <coughs> landlord in the neighborhood. You know, I, mean, I don't have any, my residential units, I've never gotten a complaint. If I do ever get any, even a whisper, I'm down at the property immediately. So all I'm asking is I don't want to be coupled in with Baco and Furies because okay. they're bad operators. This is I just don't want to have a situation. Okay. okay, we're not coupling you in. Uh, we're yeah. just saying that it's time to put an end. Uh, we, we went through this with Bovis, we went through this with um, uh, on Hanover Street with the restaurant staying open late. If we don't put our foot down, it's going to continue. I'm not saying that you're a bad landlord, I'm not saying you're a bad guy. All I'm saying is once we lift it for you, there's going to be many people that come along that want to do the same thing. And then where does it end? Uh, you're a buddies? Three of them don't live here. Three of them don't live here. Okay, we don't have time for a dialogue or a yeah, debate. Yeah, okay. Would you like to say something, Tell me, who has uh, the room to make another store? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Carla can go up. Yeah, so I Kenny can, can go up. up. This is about this so restaurant. It's not about anything else. Let me see the dining room. Yeah, you should, right. Is there a... Um, Inside, is there a table? Is there a bar? Yeah, he wants a roller bar where he puts out this. He does a lot of anti-pasta like this. Yeah. And mostly he has a four-season food product. This is the interview that was on the second no. floor. No, no. No bar. No so bar. No bar. I'm going to see exactly. He's going from the existing 34. We're putting in handicap for that. So that's the second floor. Handicap accessible. So he's actually going to be at 66. He's going to Quickly, uh, yeah. uh, I just wanted to say, apart from the uh, actual uh, attributes of this place, 
that way of arguing, I think, is just completely unfair. And it's just what she was talking about. I agree with you 100% in your point that we get stuck in a situation where we try to be considerate of, of, a, of a, each individual case. So then we, we agree to something. And then as soon as you turn around, the door opens and five more guys come in and say, oh, well, you gave it to that one, so you've got to give it to me too. And then they put up lists like this. I don't, I don't think this is legitimate. I think if it, it's either is each one on its own or else you're going to go around talking like this. You shouldn't talk like this, I don't think. All right, that's a statement. Yeah, that's my statement. What statement is that? I'm not saying they have an eye one. What I'm, the reason we put this up is just to show we're not setting a precedent. That's no, the only say, reason. Okay, you, then the next guy will have your name on that list too. He may. No. You know, I mean, I'm just, this wasn't, you know, a way to throw another restaurant under the bus. All I put this up for is to show that there's already, you know, restaurants in existence. In fact, there's four of them right on sales. Yeah. So we're not setting a precedent for that. Yes, we don't have that time for three people, but go ahead. Well, I just want to say very quickly, and in terms of setting precedent, I just want to remind everyone in the room, we just uh, voted to let a West Coast brand franchise into a, a, a showcase location on Hanover Street. So I, I don't think this audience should be talking about precedent setting stuff because that was a, a remarkable one. Well, that's a different situation. No, I understand, yeah. but I just think for, for a, for a restaurateur, restaurateur who's been a good operator and is a community person, you know, I think they deserve it. Thank you for it. Go ahead. I, I, I think I'd like to suggest that, of course, the community has a right to consider everything in the, the community. It's called planning. And we should stop rezoning by the use of barriers. I'm concerned about what's happening on uh, Salem Street. And I'd like to suggest that it's always painted as either you vote for what the restaurant wants, the barriers, and so forth, or you're anti-business. I think our votes in support of restaurants have led to the case where we're supporting the <coughs> restaurant business. It's actually working against small retail businesses, especially the ones that provide the services and goods that are geared more towards the neighborhood, because I think we're sending a signal that we're willing to support variances for restaurants, and so any landlord who's got a building that's not currently zoned for a restaurant thinks if I can just get a restaurant in there, then I can uh, get the alcohol license, raise the value, raise the rent, and we're driving up the cost of Okay, one more comment. Yeah, you yeah. okay. I have a question. Is it, it's, it's a restaurant that is serving dinner upstairs, is that right? That's correct, yes. So it's just, it just serving food. That's wrong. Zero one. 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 No, no. Well, the answer is the same as the license. Right. Yeah. But yeah, 30, how many seats now? 34. 34 and going up to 66. Okay. Do I have a motion to vote yes or no on this? Thank you. Uh, second. Second. Thank you. Okay. Orange uh, ballot. Critical opposed. Critical opposed. Right to hear it. It's um, 10 support and 27 opposed. Okay. Good.